Yes lads, and welcome back to the Rangers RTG. And in this episode, we start Season 2. We are back, Season 2, but we're not actually there just yet. So I'll see you in a second when we're there. And obviously, the board is happy with our results for this season. We look forward to working with you again next season. I'd hope so. We got to the Champions League semi-final. And here we are, Season 2. Let's see how much money we have. We have 44 million. That is a lot of money. I, I'm, I'm probably going to sell like some of the players as well. Maybe some, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Barisic will stay, even though his contract is expiring. So I'm going to have to redo his contract. But I'm definitely thinking of selling. I mean, Lawrence is going and Lundstrom's going. Maybe Motondo, maybe Raskin. Wright's probably going to go. And that's probably it, to be honest. But Lewis Hall has arrived. He's now at the club. I bought him, I think it was in like February of last year. But either way, he's now here. I don't think he'll be on the bench, depending on what rating he is. He is 64 rated. I don't think he'll be on the bench. I've got a feeling he's probably going to be going out on loan for a season. Because, well, I mean, you, you never know. A midfielder could get injured. I could need him on the bench. You never know. But if you look at this team and you have to say, what do I need? That's better. It'd probably have to be a new centre-back. But I'm not going to lie. John Sutar is actually a class centre-back. So I think... I'm probably going to go for a new left wing. I think I might move on to Carla and then put Al Ghazi on the bench. And this risk is going to be massive. I know I said I love John Sutar. John Sutar's going nowhere. But 5.8 million for John Sutar is something I don't think I'll ever be able to get again. I mean, I might not even be able to get 5.8 million. I'm going to try 5.5 at first. But I've got players I could sign. I've got 4.1. Okay, I mean... Ajax is stingy, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, they're really not pushing for 4.1, man. This Ajax team is stingy as fuck. 4.5, you stingy men. 4.5, there we go. John Sutar is going to Ajax for 4.5 million. That may not seem like a lot, and I know I love him, but I've got more and better players I could sign for not much more money, to be honest. And now John Sutar has left the club, I can start splashing the cash. 52 million, I'm spending it all. I, 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 I'm having a new team. And welcome to the club, the first signing of the second season. Rika Lewis from Man City for exactly 4 million with a 1% salon clause. Man, Man City must be desperate for some money if they want 1% of what I'm going to sell Rika Lewis for, which is zero because I'm not selling him. Either way, Rico Lewis, the new backup right back, might even get some game time in Europa League or Champions League, whatever we are in this season. Welcome to the club, Rico Lewis. And welcome to the club, the second signing of this season. If it is Wilfred Notto from Leeds, the second man from the Premier League. Wait, did Leeds get relegated? I don't know, actually. Whatever. Whatever, yeah, I think they got relegated. I was going to say another under 20 a year old for from the Premier League, but they're now in the Championship. But either way, Wilfred Notto, I think it was like 14.5 million with an 18% salon clause. But once again, the salon clause means nothing, and I'm not selling him. Wilfred Notto pushing Al Ghazi onto the bench. Number 16, welcome to the club, Wilfred Notto. Let's move on quickly after that voice break, my God. And I know I said I loved Leandro Dundonke. He had some absolutely banging games for the club, but I have a surplus of midfielders now. 9.4 million to Benfica. He will be leaving. I mean, yes, I loved him, but he's 28. He's getting on. I've got some younger players I want to bring in. I've got some younger players already in the club. I mean, look at look at my midfield. I've got Lewis Smith, Dendonke, Van der Boomen, Bozoa is a midfielder, Lewis Hall, Lavia. I've got so many midfielders, I don't need them all. And it's, I'm just sorry to say that it's Dendonke. They're leaving. And here is the third signing for Rangers in this second season, it is Bella Kotchap from Southampton. I've signed some players from Southampton. Trust me, I've signed Lavia. Oh, I've, I've signed two. Lavia and Bella Kotchap. Here we are. Bella Kotchap on the treadmill. What, I think it was 14.7 mil or 11.7. I think it was a... I can't remember. I think it was 11.7 with like a 12% salon clause, which I'm obviously not going to sell him. So I'm just going to do that. He's got he's got an arm, arm a, a wrist. I don't know what he's got. He's in the club. Welcome to the club, Bella Kotchap. 
and welcome to the club, the fourth signing, I'm pretty sure. I've lost count, but it is another Belgian man. Rangers are becoming Belgian. Welcome to the club, Amadou Onana. I think it was for 22 mil plus Raskin and a 15% salon clause. But once again, I'm not going to be selling him. So I've pretty much just got him for 22 mil plus Raskin. But Raskin was never going to play. It was either he leaves or leaves out on loan. But like I said last time, I just want money. Welcome to the club, the new centre mid, Amadou Onana. And here we are at the first game of the season, which I'm actually going to be simming. Mainly because we have qualification. I'm, I'm guessing that's qualification. But either way, we have qualification for the Champions League against Benfica, which I'll be playing next episode. But for now, let's sim the first game of the season, St. Johnston. I mean, come on, we have to beat them. I've spent money. We've got a banging team. Arelos is back. We have to beat St. Johnston. But we lose on the opening day of the season. We lose 2-1. That might as well be Bazunu out the door. And that will do it for this first episode in Season 2. I was right. It is the qualifying round. But that game is massive. Qualifying against Benfica. I mean, we, we simply have to qualify for the Champions League. I, oh, come on, man. We have to. We reached the semi-final last season. I can at least beat Benfica. Tavernier suspended. I've bought loads of players, but I still lost to St. Johnston. I'll see you all next time when I play Benfica in the qualifiers for the Champions League. Thank you all for watching.